Once you've created your database and started adding objects, you want to make sure that you are saving everything so that you can get back to it at a later date. The good news is Access will automatically save data that you have entered anytime you add an application part, move to a new record, close an object or database, or quit the application. But you'll need to save the design of a table or any other database object after it's created. And you can do that a couple of different ways, one of which being using the Save Object As command in Backstage View. You can create a duplicate of a database object by specifying an alternate name, or even save objects in other formats such as PDF or XPS files. You can save some objects as other compatible object types. For example, you can save a table as a new report which will include all the table fields. When you save a new table for the first time, give it a name that describes the information it contains, just like you would a new file. You can use up to 64 characters, including spaces. So let's look at how this would work in Access. Looking at my Access database, I can save Table 1 by right-clicking which will display the shortcut menu, and choosing Save. Once I click Save, I will get a dialog box that asks me to give the table a name. So if this table is going to hold student data, then I might name it Student Data. If it's going to hold contact information, I might name it Contact Info. And then simply click OK. And you can see that on the tab, it has changed the name to the new name of my table. Another way that I can save my table is to click File, and then choose Save As. And from Save As, I will choose Save Object As. And once I choose Save Object As, I can click Save As, and you can see that it's asking where it is going to save this copy of my table. So I can simply save it as copy of, or maybe this is going to be my backup of my contact info table. And in this case, I do want to save it as a table, but you can see that there are some other choices there if needed. And then I simply click OK. And notice that that adds that new table that is my backup table to the navigation pane.